Hi everybody, my name is Chef Ray Longin. I'm the executive chef for Turner's Yard in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to show you how we build raviolis. This is pasta dough. You can use this for pasta, for spaghetti, for any kind of, for lasagna. Today we're going to use it for raviolis. What I've done is I've taken it, I've rolled it out by hand, then I've rolled it into what's known as a pasta roller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of semolina flour, and I'm going to put it on my mold. I have a ravioli mold. This has about a dozen little holes in it and has a little press to make the little pockets that we're going to fill those little cavities with. So first of all I'm going to lay my pasta across it. It's pretty pretty simple. It's pretty easy to do. We lay it like that. We take this little mold. We press down until we get a good good press on it and you'll see it makes little cavities. I've taken some shiv or goat cheese and I've seasoned it with an egg, I've seasoned it with some salt and pepper, and I just made it real simple. I want to get that good goat cheese flavor. So what I'm going to do is take a couple of little spoonfuls, and I'm going to fill these little cavities. What you don't want to do is overfill it, because if you overfill it, it gets on the edge and it won't stick. So we're going to fill these up real quick. All right, so now that we've got our raviolis filled, what we're going to do is we're going to take a top layer and we're going to lay it over the top. First of all, actually what I'm going to do is I want them to stick. So what I've done is I've beaten an egg with about uh, a couple tablespoons of water. And I'm going to put it right down the edge here and this is going to act like a glue. Now you can certainly go ahead and if you're fast enough you can put this mixture across the whole sheet first and then press it. I like to do it after because I don't want to get the egg wash all over everything else. I'm going to lay this across, I'm going to press it down with my hands, just like that. And I'm going to take this mini rolling pin. This comes with this little kit. This is so cool. It comes with a bottom part, a top part, and a little mini rolling pin, just like you see in the little doll sets. And you just roll it across the top until you see the, the metal coming through on the mold. This, will this basically cuts the ravioli, so you have these perfect little raviolis all cut up. If you press hard enough, get them right through, and you peel the outside of this off, this is the remainder, and you get these mini little raviolis just like that. So, what I'm going to do, I just take it, flip it over. The best way to cook these is you take some salted water, hot boiling salted water, you place them in there about seven to eight minutes or until they float. Once they float, then you can go ahead and toss them in a pan with your favorite sauce, cream sauce, tomato sauce, anything you like. And remember, you can fill raviolis with anything you can possibly think of. So there you have it, folks. My name is Chef Ray Alonji, and this is how I make homemade raviolis.